Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this third video looking at uh, how cloud computing is changing IT skills, IT organizations, and how ultimately businesses uh, potentially are going to leverage cloud computing, we want to look at sort of the third element. The first video looked at how people are changing and their skills. The second one we looked a little bit at how process is changing and how that affects architecture under the covers for cloud computing. And the third thing we're going to look at is sort of how the organization may have to change or probably needs to change in order to be able to really take advantage of cloud computing both for internal IT resources and external IT resources. So let's start with some basic premise. Today, um, the CIO has a certain amount of uh, responsibility for cost, for budgets, to be able to deliver uh, infrastructure and applications. Ultimately, they're trying to service the lines of business that want to be able to produce products, produce services, interact with customers, uh, consume IT services, and they're also trying to service you know, internal developers, testing organizations, and their internal users. Right. So uh, people making the product, people uh, interacting with customers, sales organizations, marketing organizations, all those types of things, HR, the internal technologists within your business who are writing applications, who are consuming technology, and the CIO has to be able to say, well, Money may come from here, and I'm also going to have a certain amount of money, and I've got to be able to create an environment that's going to be able to service these people, be able to service these people, and to a certain extent, also, obviously, be able to allow the IT organization to help service that as well. So the challenge becomes, in the past, I had all these different silos. I had different organizations paying for different parts of what IT did. Uh, I had different organizations paying for resources that were on different depreciation cycles and different budgeting cycles. And so as, you're, as CIO, you're starting to say to yourself, well, how am I going to deal with this change? Because the change that you have not only is that you've got these users, but the other big change that you have is that the resources you can provide to them are now both internal and external, right? So they're both public and private resources. And so the question becomes, how do you do this in a way that services your users, services your business, but gives you control and visibility? Because ultimately, the CIO, the IT organization, will be the ones that people are going to come to when the systems don't work, when data gets lost, when they want new applications, and they need technical expertise to get that done. And so I'm going to kind of introduce a concept I call uh, cloud concierge, and I borrowed it for some other people, and I've kind of talked about it in public spaces a couple of times. But ultimately, what it means is, how do I leverage the best of the resources that are available, both internally and externally, and do it in a way that I have visibility, some amount of control, but we continue to start to provide a little bit of control and usage uh, uh, variability to our developers and our internal users. We allow these groups to have some control over how much they want to use, how they pay for it. And so it means that I've got to have some new systems in place. I've got to have the ability to do a couple of things. I've got to have the ability to think about resources as complete resources. The resources can be used anywhere, right? So I'm going to have sort of what I'll call cloud resources. And so you've got to start thinking about both internal resources and external resources as being things that can help you service the business needs of those, right? The second thing is you want to be able to start providing a level of self-service to these users. And by that, what I mean is you've got to give them a little bit of control. So instead of you, IT and the CIO, being the yes or no gate to all technology decisions for the business, you've got to allow your end users, your lines of business, your people that are talking to customers, that are looking at best practices of other business, to give them some amount of flexibility and control to say, this is what I want, this is when I need it, this is how I want to consume it, these are the devices I want to use. Um, and self-service becomes part of that way of doing it. Now, that scares some people, and we can get into that in more detail, but it's it giving up a little bit of control to allow them to better understand their business, right? You're still ultimately going to be responsible for keeping it up and running it, but they may have great insight into how to interact with their customers, how to solve a business problem, how to best bring on new devices and, and deal with some of those challenges. You've got to have the ability to have more of a kind of a centralized budget. Instead of having it distributed to all the organizations, if you're providing this pool of resources, and the resources are both internal and external, 
you've got to have a little bit more from perspective of budget, more centralized. Because if you're having to think this group has control and they're going to want things their way, and this group has control and they're going to want things their way, and we've got certain standards we've got to meet, and there could be multiple other lines of business, it's going to be extremely, extremely difficult to deliver that in a way that's consistent and is cost effective. And so there's got to be some change in terms of where the dollars come from. But there's also got to be uh, you know, some, some accountability and uh, some accountability and some transparency back to the business um, into what you're delivering. And by that I mean, we talked about this early on in the economics sections, it's about saying, do I measure myself against certain baselines, right? So here's the baseline that public delivers, here's the baseline that private delivers. What, how do I help deliver this? How do I help deliver this? How do I make sure that people understand there's some choices here, there's some reasons why this may be here and this may be here? How do I get between these two, right? So being able to think in terms of those things, I want to provide cloud services, right, internal or external. I've got to be able to do that in a way that I'm going to give a little bit more control to the line of business, to my internal users, and potentially how we interact with our customers is extremely important. In order to be able to do that, I'm going to have to think about budgeting a little bit different. I want to be able to have consistent services, and so I'm going to have to make some, uh, some purchases ahead of time in some cases, and this could be public resources or private resources. And I'm going to have to think that I've got to be able to provide accountability and transparency at granular levels to meet these baselines for both public internal and external services, cloud services, so that when I go back to my lines of business and my users who now have a little bit of control and visibility and I can justify to them, this is why we're doing what we're doing. This is why I'm giving you certain trade-offs. This is why I'm only giving you certain options in your self-service, and this is how it aligns to the business. And then as a whole, both collectively between the lines of business and the technology groups, the CIO, you can make business decisions, not purely technology decisions, but business decisions about what makes sense for our business, what's core versus context, how do we uh, push the levers and move the levers when speed is more important, when high availability or security or compliance is more important, or we want to have a, an innovation section that's more important at times, right? So uh, being able to move those levers is something that becomes consistency between conversation between the CIO, the lines of business, ultimately the business users, but there's a certain amount of, of underlying infrastructure, underlying organizational change that has to take place, and there are many, many ways to get there, but those are some of the key elements that have to be put in place, that have to be thought about holistically in order to get to a point where cloud computing for a business can be internal resources, external resources, and ultimately uh, technology resources that are serving business needs. So. Um, Hopefully you were able to see in the early videos where we talked about people changes, we talked about process changes, we're now talking about sort of organizational higher value changes. But looking at these, all these things holistically uh, is going to help us make those transitions that are needed within IT, within the business, leveraging technology to ultimately be able to better either deliver cloud computing services or consume cloud computing services, ultimately with the goal to service our business better, service our customers better, be more efficient in what we do and, and, and better leverage the dollars that are uh, driving our business and, and helping our customers. So thanks again for listening to this. Uh, we're going to move on to some other technology sections, but thanks for watching this. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.